In the last episode we spent some time in Almeria after entering the Mediterranean. But now, before leaving, we found a problem that enlongered our stay. We did the, yesterday a standard rig check and normally we discover no problems, but this time uh, we did. So one of our sprouts needs to be exchanged, which means you need to change like both in the pair. But uh, we didn't have a camera with us when we went up there, so now we need to go back up to take photos to send to the rigger. And uh, hopefully uh, when we reach Cartagena, they could have new ones for us there waiting. So we're going to get going because it's Wednesday today and it takes a couple of days for them to get the terminals, which is very specific for this boat. So up the mast, not my favorite, but Gunnar did it last time, so it's my turn now. Up right there you can see the tiny damage but you can also see it's a little bit of a twist on the shroud here so it's uh, definitely a, a bad one that needs to be replaced i hate being up here but now i'm getting a little bit more used to it so i actually have a look at the view but my legs are shaking so i'm gonna get back down we got all the pictures we needed to send to the rigger we found in cartagena so he could pre-order the items for our arrival and the next day we left we are leaving Almeria and uh, we're going to be on our way to Cartagena to pick up our new shrouds. And uh, now we're kind of lucky because uh, uh, the wind comes from starboard so it won't put any pressure on our shroud. And also we probably sailed with them for weeks without knowing so um, it's not going to be uh, like any problem. And if, if it comes more pressure we could just take the, the spinnaker lift to ease it a little bit. So we're going to hoist our main. water eased the heat wave of Spain a bit and we had spotted some options to drop our anchor along the 100 nautical mile way to Cartagena to avoid staying too long in a port. As you can see from the, the landscape behind me it's very uh, desert alike and the, the place that we are uh, passing soon like it's a it's a little bit of a cape uh, which is a national park that's supposed to be the only desert in Europe. It's also a place where a lot of uh, spaghetti western movies has been uh, recorded so a lot of famous actors have been here so we are gonna try to see if we can drop our anchor someplace there and uh, have a look at this uh, national park desert. Nice place but uh, too much swell coming in so uh, we're moving on. And the next stop didn't go any better. We made an attempt to anchor in a beautiful bay but there's a sort of grass that's protected so you can only anchor in sandy patches and it was very hard to find a sandy patch so we gave up on the whole idea Cartagena, where we have some work to do to take our inner shrouds down. So it's back to climbing the mast. Not really looking forward either to go up there or to uh, winch gunner up there because <laughs> both of them are an effort. But uh, hopefully, hopefully, we get our new shrouds tomorrow. So in that case, it would be perfect just to stay here one or two nights 
probably it's gonna take a little longer. I think we're optimistic. Lots of uh, big ships waiting outside uh, the harbor inlet. It's not so very easy to see where the harbor entrance is, but it's supposed to be somewhere right in front of us. extremely sheltered entrance to this port so I think we're gonna have a calm night I hope there's not gonna be a lot of clubs and music this night like Spain seems to really enjoy that but we not so much we're not really sure what's happening we're asked to just uh, stand by so either they are helping some other boats or they are looking for our dog spot or something but I'm glad we have a reservation There is two marinas here in Cartagena and this is the club which is normally for some reason more expensive but here it was cheaper so we only paid 34 euro for two nights and the bonus to that is that they have a pool which is uh, uh, kind of common for the clubs but normally you're not allowed to use it if you are only a transit boat but they said we were welcome so we're gonna go and check out the pool area and have a little bit of a swim because it's uh, it's still very very warm in Spain. So, what do we like this marina? Yeah, it's really perfect. I'm I'm so happy we could use the pool. I'm just gonna keep swimming all day, I think. So, enough of uh, relaxing today. It's time to get to the work that we came here for and starting to remove our shrouds. So it's a little bit less warm now. I think it's still gonna be pretty exhausting. In order to secure the mast while we are removing the inner shrouds, we're going to use uh, the lift on one side and then I think we're going to use one of our extra halyards on the other side to keep it steady. And down to the railing on this side. That way we will have a supporting structure on the starboard and the port when we are taking away our inner shrouds or lower shrouds. So that is going, going to work. By winching them really tight. Getting ready.
here you can see the, the broken one. It's uh, actually when there's no tension in, it's pretty easy to take it loose. And it's also, it's looking a bit bad all the way here, as you can see. And also the little twist on it here, definitely uh, need to replace. Now we have them down and ready for uh, Fernando to pick them up early tomorrow morning. Yeah, now the rig you can do the measurements so we get them exactly uh, right length for the new one. We just left our uh, shrouds to Fernando and now we're going to take a little bit of walk on the town. Cartagena has been inhabited by different cultures since long past and has a lot of historical remains. It's not very, very hot. It's not like 40 degrees today, but it's super, super humid, which is almost worse than the heat. I prefer hotter, but less humid. Oh, a peacock is waiting for us. Look, beautiful. So they have a little bit of water, they seem very happy about it and I, I think they are about to get more water. <laughs> we could also have used for a little bit of water, but uh, let's continue up to the castle. That was the most adorable chickens. They were so cute and they really appreciated the drinking water and also to dip their bellies in the water on the ground. So I think it's really hot for them too. The castle itself was closed, but the hill offered beside a very welcome shade some views and close by was more to see. We're gonna go down to see if we can have a look at the amphitheater. <laughs> need to check my steps. <laughs> we don't really know that much about it, but it's always nice to see those ancient things. But it said uh, on Google Maps that it was going to be closed today, so maybe we could just see it from up here. So it turns out it's a Roman theatre and it's built in the first century. What do you think of it? I think it's uh, I think it's nice. I really like the stage with the, the old columns and uh, stuff. I would like to see an uh, uh, ancient play going on there. It turns out it's a huge archaeological site here, so uh, we thought it was going to be closed, but we can see people walking inside, so we're going to try to find the, the entrance, which is somewhere that direction. We really liked what this town had to show us, although we came for something else. We have got our new shrubs. So now we're just going to put them up and Gunnar has promised to go up the mast today so I'm going to do the winching which is 
Not so easy either, but I prefer it. Look all good, new and shiny. So we're just gonna put some oil on the turnbuckles before we attach. It's almost empty. Gunnar is soon ready to go. I love my old climbing equipment. It's very useful on the boat. I'm getting ready. We are using our topping lift and our spare halyard. It's time to let Gunnar down. Done! Finally, they are off. New ones and we can sail tomorrow. After some fine tuning of the rig, we were ready to leave and we hope you liked this episode and want to join us next week as we continue.